monster is the same whale, well, it's called the Geppetto and Pinocchio. Uh, don't worry everyone, because Pinocchio's already been through here. He was very smart to build the fire, and that fire caused monster to sneeze so hard, sneeze his tail right off. Giving us a perfect entrance for Storybook Land and leaving Monstro half the way he used to be. Ah, the duck feels to the cave with big bad wolf. Pa was trying to get across to the three little pigs on the other side. First pig lives in the house of straw, the second in the house of sticks, and the third in the house of wolf creek friends. Just around the bend of the left, you'll see the village where Alice and Alice in Wonderland lives. She used to spend her days in the grass daydreaming, and so one day, she followed the white rabbit down the trail into the rabbit hole, where she fell down, 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 beginning her many adventures in Wonderland. Hey, it's all right. In the center of the canal is London Tide Park. Wendy Michael and John, with the help of Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and a little bit of pixie dust, flew over this park on their way to Neverland, and they never, ever had to go up. Straight ahead is the city of Agrabah, city of mystery and enchantment. On the hill of Sultan's Palace, and down below is the marketplace, where a lively jasmine met for the very first time. The only thing I'll have stole that day was Princess Jasmine's heart. Are you okay? Are you okay? You're getting it. Seven archers are traveling under a harvest day, Mark. Pretty black a lot. And since the jazz flew under on that first magic carpet ride, you are whole new world. Now, Blanca, I'm here, Mike. Keep your hands inside the boat. Don't touch anything. For we are entering the cave of wonders. Oh, I was in the cave and discovered its most precious treasure, the Chini Lion. If they make a wish in this cave, it might come true. To our right, the forest is the cottage of snow, white, and the seven dwarfs. Find the cottage in the woods is the jewel mine where the dwarfs still whistle while they work. Though we had a lot of Cinderella used to live, and they would get stepmother and stepsisters. But high up on top of the hill is where she lives now with Prince Charming. What's that? Halfway up the road leading the house is the pumpkin, and the fairy godmother turned into the carriage that took Cinderella to the ball. Oh, is it Cinderella? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to let you'll see our giant patchwork quilt inspired by the Disney Silly Symphony of all the Island toys. The quilt is made entirely of desert plants, all of which are real. He's saying, I was wondering all of our plants flowers, and even up everything here in Storybook Land is 100% real. The plants have been miniaturized by a special process, so we'll learn to speak for now, and they're most trusted Disneyland gardeners. Our trees grow only about one inch per year, and this is the fantasy land's oldest resident. Up ahead in our left, you'll see Toad Hall, the home to Mr. Toad. The smaller, more modest home down to the stem of that old tree belongs to Mr. Bowl, open to the woods. Either of them are home right now, they're off for the wild ride to nowhere in particular. Three wooden mills were inspired by the short film, The Old Mill. The mill in the center housed the local animals during a terrible winter storm. Near the South Pine Village, Geppetto and Pinocchio. And the wood carving shop is where Geppetto wished upon a star, Pinocchio came to life. With the help of Timothy Cricket and the Blue Fairy, Pinocchio achieved his dream of becoming a real boy. Alright, it's Prince Eric's ship. It's off to the same sandy shores where Ariel took her first steps on her land. Ariel and Eric would not be around, and the palace by the sea. Our 